The latest atrocity in Nairobi follows a pattern of violence. There were two bombs in the capital, both in a market area. One targeted a public minibus, the other was inside the market. There have been numerous such incidents in several parts of the country this year. This week, the message from the Foreign Office to British holidaymakers was that the violence had now reached a level high enough for the FCO to advise them to leave. Two major tour companies laid on flights for those who chose to go and flew them into Gatwick Airport. Um, gutted because it's the honeymoon and obviously it's ruined a holiday. But on the other hand, obviously, you've got to be safe. Haven't you? Three weeks we've booked for. And we've booked for three days, weeks. And one day for all. So we've actually, it, it, I mean, it depends. We've actually been to Kenya for a long weekend, which is not something that anybody would choose to do. This map shows a summary of the FCO's advice for Kenya. The orange sections indicate the parts where they're advising against all but essential travel. There's also a warning in places for some parts of the capital, including the Eastley area and townships or slums. Welcome to Kenya. Tourism in Kenya is big business, and the change of advice by the British and other governments has angered the Kenyan government. However, the president tempered his response. I am aware of what the British government chose to do yesterday, and it is not for me to comment about what they did. But all I can say once again is that we in Kenya are committed to this fight. The warning comes nine months after the attack on the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, which left at least 67 people dead. That was carried out by the Al-Shabaab group. Since then, there's been a series of smaller attacks, killing dozens of people. Al-Shabaab is a Somalian-based terror group, which has in the past controlled large parts of the country. Kenyan troops joined an African Union force to help the Somalian government, and this triggered Al-Shabaab attacks inside Kenya. Kenyan military is currently involved in a major offensive against Al-Shabaab in Somalia, trying to unseat them from their power bases, uh, particularly in the south of the country. Uh, these attacks should be seen as a, as a direct response to this. Um, in particular, uh, Al-Shabaab have been struggling uh, on the battlefield and are trying to take the fight uh, more to the main countries that are involved in this offensive. The latest attack was in an area few tourists would bother to visit. But Al-Shabaab now operate over a large area and appear to be able to strike at will.